And now to speak on, on behalf of the entire class uh, for that honor, Don McPherson. I hope that the next time there is a story about a football player who does something stupid, illegal, bad, negative, that the people in this room and the people in the media will remember those young men sitting behind me. They are, they are the evidence that in, in our aggregate, this game has inspired many young men to be great. It has inspired many young men to do things beyond the game of football that has contributed to our culture, has contributed to our society in very positive ways. And a year ago, I was in this room, sitting way up towards those high chandeliers, and I heard Joe Paterno ask to have the lights turned up so that anyone who played this game could stand up. And anyone who played this game could stand up and represent the great tradition and the great lessons and the great history. And I was one of those players. I was just one of thousands of high school, Pop Warner, college, pro players who stood up that day representing all the best of our society. And I was proud. And I was proud to be a member of this family. And so you can imagine a year later to represent these guys here at the podium to make comments and remarks about their careers and this great game, I am more than proud. I'm humble and I'm deeply, deeply honored. These guys, I can say as a fan, because that's the way most of us know these players, are as fans, are tremendous, tremendous athletes. But I, the one thing that I love about the game of football, and the one thing that going back to Senator Glenn's comments about team and what it takes to build team, is that I can appreciate, and we can appreciate the, the great skill sets that they all bring. You heard that from different players talk about the different skill sets. But no other game, and I am one person who loves to talk about the diversity of our culture, of our society, and treating people with respect and integrity. But I have to be a little bit almost arrogant tonight about this great game of football. Because no other team sport puts on a field a big 300-pounder like Jim Dombrowski on the field and a once maybe more spelt. <laughs> right? Big parts on the field. Where you can have a 300 pounder and a, an 185 pounder on the same field. Each charge was doing something different. And the appreciation for them does not happen on game day. The appreciation happens with, 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 between them in practice. When wide receivers look at, look over at the defensive linemen and the linemen beat each other up for two or three hours at a time and can't imagine how they continue to do that all through training camp. And the, wide, and the linemen and the defensive linemen and the linebacker look at, look at those wide receivers running route after route after route, getting it right, coming out of your break at the right time, doing the little things over and over and over. And not because um, they want to get it right at that moment in practice, because when they want to get it right is in the game. When there is no time to stop and think, you react. And so you get this appreciation watching your teammates prepare in very different ways from yourself to be at that moment when we all come together. And when you do that, and when you prepare that way, and, and Coach Holtz mentioned this earlier, that you can fool the media, you can fool the, the, the coach, but you can't fool your teammates. And when you practice with integrity, you prepare yourselves with integrity, you can deal with anything. And these men that we honor this evening, and I speak as if I'm not a part of you guys, but I am speaking as an admirer, because when I heard guys talk this morning, I heard about guys who transferred from schools, guys who were scorned by their own community because they didn't go to the right school. Some guys never played a down in the NFL, but they all prepared themselves to be great somewhere else. They all prepared themselves to be great in life. And so I am deeply, deeply honored and privileged to represent this class. And I always say that, that sport, just like life, is not an event in this day and age when we have the national championship game or some other big event, Super Bowl, these great, great big events, we forget that sport is a process. 
It is not a vent. We don't get better on the day of the game. We get better preparing for that game. And so I am proud to, once again, say it, and I will say it over and over, to represent these men. But I will also say this about all of us. As we spent the day together, and we'll spend many more in the future, I did, did not hear one guy say, I. I did not hear one guy say, my years, or my days. I heard them talk about their families, their friends, their teammates, their coaches. And I heard them, again, in appreciation of the other athletes in the room, the appreciation of the other skill sets in the room. And I am so proud to be amongst this group, and I will tell you that on behalf of them, I want to thank our teammates, because there was not one guy up here who stood in the huddle by himself. There were 10 other guys in that huddle every single play, and every single day, and they're the guys that you not only Again, play with what you competed with, you practiced with, you sweat with, you cried with. And so on behalf of this team, I want to thank that team, the team of players that, that got us all here. I also want to thank our, our respective institutions who believed in us and gave us the opportunity, just like the great game of football, to be great. And the many coaches and athletic directors, and most especially this evening, the National Football Foundation, the honor sport, for honoring us and allowing us to represent our families, our institutions, our communities, and represent this great game of football. Thank you all very much. Have a wonderful